Hello everyone, Seraphin here. Welcome back for more Fire Emblem Blazing Sword. We are resuming today with Chapter 21. And I think we moved everybody already last time, so we're going to let the enemy phase kick off and see what they do. Send a few more reinforcements our way. Good, more stuff for me to kill. More experience points, I should say. And they really like shooting at Legal with those ballista, don't they? I suppose it's better than the alternative. And picking off flyers or some such. Alright, Urk, do your thing, dude. Actually, that's an axe guy. We can axe reaver him, can't we? Uh, not successfully. Does Urk kill him? He does. No, he doesn't! Unless he crits. Nope, he does not. I'm okay with that. I need to get Urk trained up a little bit more, maybe, but we can focus on that another time. I think Heath is the last addition to our party. Uh, the last one that we need to worry about training at any rate. You may be wondering, well, what are you talking about that I need to worry about training? Well, there's somebody we're going to get later on that doesn't require as much effort. Let's pick off that one. Rebecca can take a hit from at least one of those knights, I believe. It's not ideal for her to, but... Alright, let's uh, heal up Dart. Should probably... Oh, jeez, I forgot about that Nomad. Is he gonna double Heath? No, he won't. In fact, he only does 13 damage. He'll do 19 after the bow bonus, and he'll still only do 9 damage to Heath. Yeah, that's fine. He's got his Axe Reaver equipped, so that even this guy's not going to be a threat to him. So let's get this mercenary out of here. Uh, can Urk take a hit from those guys? 13 damage is a little much. That's 7 from that guy. 20! That's not good. 21. He'll survive. He'll be fine. Pick up this mercenary with Kent. And we're gonna get Raven out here to finish off that stupid ballista. I've about had it with his nonsense. I actually kind of forgot how many stupid ballistas there were in this map. Yeah, Raven gets right in front of his face. Bye! Unnecessary crit. And that puts Raven at level 19. We're getting there. We're so close! Amazing, fantastic hero Raven. Oh my god, you guys are gonna be, you guys are gonna love it. Let's crack open this chest. A brave axe. I'm actually we're thinking about it. Um we picked up the brave bow in the dragon's gate, didn't we? So the brave weapons. There's one of each, so there's a brave axe, a brave bow, a brave lance, and a brave sword. Um they're really cool. They have pretty pretty moderate might decent hit rate a lot of the time. They weigh a lot. However, they will always attack twice. And you see it says constrict consecutively. So even if you wouldn't double somebody, you will. And if you are capable of doubling somebody with a brave weapon equipped, you will actually hit them four times. Because for every regular hit, you get two hits with a brave weapon. And they're consecutive. So it's not you hit them, they hit back, you hit them again. It's you hit them twice, they hit back, then you hit them twice again. And that's the same with all four of the Brave Weapons. They have 30 uses of pop, and you only get one of each. But they're incredibly valuable for later in the game. They're a little over... They're a little much for right now, but we definitely want as many of those as we can get. Uh, we have the bow and the axe now. The lance isn't for a few more chapters, and actually, depending on who we recruit during this playthrough, we will not be getting the Brave Sword. There's only one, and it comes with a unit later on. But if you don't recruit said unit, you don't get the sword. And because said unit is a hero and we're already using Raven, I'm actually probably going to forego him for the other character that you can get instead. That other character is still great, don't get me wrong. He just doesn't have a brave sword. He has a different weapon, which is also unique to him. So, and that by, by that I mean he's the only one that has one. So, either way, you're getting an exclusive weapon. It can be argued that the brave sword is more useful, but... We just don't need two heroes. It's not that I don't like the idea of more heroes. There, there's something that 
I used to believe was important, and that was unit diversity. You don't need, like, one of every unit class in your group. You, you can just stack all the really good ones, all the same. Like, you can just have seven Cavaliers if you wanted. Actually, I think there's only five you can get. You could run five Cavaliers if you wanted, absolutely, it's your choice. And because they're such a good unit, it's really not a bad idea either. But uh, me, personally, I think it's more entertaining to show you guys more diverse team compositions. And in the long run, I think I'm better served by having a uh, mixed unit army. Because if I just had Cavaliers, then I'd get wrecked by horse slaying weapons later on. And if I just had, like, Armor Knights, then I wouldn't move very fast and get slaughtered by armor killing stuff. If I just had Flyers, they'd get killed by bows, you know. Everybody has their weaknesses, and I, th I personally, my philosophy is to try to cover as many weaknesses as I can. And I've found that the most optimal way to do that is to just use a more diverse party. But... Certainly, if you're playing through this and all of your Cavaliers turn out great, use all three of them. Five of them, even. Oh, jeez. Another freaking Ballisto. You guys need to quit with that. Man, good thing Heat's got solid defense, or he would have been in deep, deep, deep crap right there. So let's get him healed up. I uh, can't quite top him off with a heal staff, so we're going to use a Mend instead. And then I'm going to let him go wreak havoc on people. I think he kills this guy. No, he doesn't. Uh, he probably kills that other wyvern, though. No, he doesn't even double them. He probably doubles that ballista, though. Oh, yeah. When you're in a ballista, the, the thing weighs 20, so it literally slows you down to nothing, almost. Very easy to double somebody sitting in a ballista. Look at that. More strength and defense. No speed, though. That's going to be a problem later on. We might, Like I said, we might need to do speed wings on him. But I guess we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Uh, who's the bigger threat right now? Well, apparently this axe fighter, because I can't get close enough to anybody else. Can I pick off that nomad from here? Yes, I can. I don't want him going after Heath. And that wyvern is going to be an issue, unless I park Urk right here, and then he can kind of run a reception for me. Thankfully, when the wyverns are indoors, they cannot fly over the walls. So he will not be able to get to Priscilla because he's inside the castle. I know it seems a little backward. Man, he's getting more defense than he has magic. Urk, you need to knock that off, dude. Yeah, he can't get to Rebecca. Or he can't get to Priscilla, so that's good. Uh, we're gonna take out this here knight. You know you've got a lot of strength when you're one-hitting armor knights. That's pretty darn impressive, I have to say. There's not many units can do that. Is there anything worth stealing? I didn't even bother to check. Probably not anymore, because I've killed everybody. Uh, we'll send Legault back. I think I'll have him go check out Secret Shop just to make sure there's something valuable in there. How do Elowood and Edie not have a support yet? That doesn't drive me bonkers. too. Alright, and then Sarah's not in any danger where she is, but just to make sure. We've got five more turns left. We'll be fine. We're actually going to go pretty quick, I imagine. Alright, Urk. Take this guy down. Thankfully, even with his pathetic magic, he's still managing to kill people. But I fear that Urk is going to be surpassed by his mentor when we get to that point, so we'll probably be just be switching to him. And we get him very soon, if I'm not mistaken. So, it, Urk has a little opportunity left to catch up, but not a whole heck of a lot. I uh, need to top off some people here. Uh, who needs the experience more? Rebecca probably does, yeah. She can handle mages, no problem. Magic units in general. She's been critting a lot. I'm not upset about it by any stretch. She will be a wonderful sniper pretty soon here. More strength, I love it. Resistance, luck, skill. Oh yeah, she's going to be a great sniper. Not too long from now, either. So we're going to have Heath go after his uh, former commander there. Who needs healing? Dart could use some. 
Just a heal, though, not a mend. And we're actually going to run the clock out on the defending as long as we can, because I want to milk the experience for all it's worth. I think I'm going to send the main party down yonder, however. Oh, shoot, I can't get to Hector. I can pick him up. There we go. And no one's capable of putting him down, I don't believe, so... Let's have Isadora come take that dude off my hands here. Since we're not using her. Where'd Florina go? She's down there, that's right. Keep forgetting people. Oh yeah, Legault's gonna go grab... Let's have Wrath deliver him the card. Member card. I have a lot of stuff in here. Alright, a few more turns and we're in business. Now as long as Eubens is alive, the enemy reinforcements will continue to spawn. That's a fair few of them, isn't it? Let's uh, take care of these guys. I don't need to be in melee range to hit him, but because he's supported with Raven, they need to be at least three squares away, so. Lucius not as high level as I thought he was for some reason. Man, he's getting a lot of luck. His luck growth is actually atrocious. And he started with one, or two maybe. He's doing pretty good. Definitely killing that guy before he gets to that stupid ballista. Again, with the unnecessary crits. That's part of the support bonus between Lucius and Raven, though, is getting that extra crit rate. And once they get to A-level support, it's going to be invaluable. They'll be critting non-stop. I'm very much looking forward to that. Sadly, Heath does not double that Nomad. Does he double anybody else? No, he does not. We're actually going to retreat with him for the time being. Let the enemy come to me. Could just whip a hand axe at him or something. Actually, he's gonna go for a Becca and get himself killed. That's fine too. I put Hector right here. Let's drop him over down this way. Oh, there we go. Support. Perfect. That's what I wanted with Ella Wood. Theirs is very fast. Their support ranking rivels up incredibly quickly. Oh yeah, that's true. Hmm. <laughs> Man, it hits a little too home there, I think. Support level increased. Uh, do Dart and Rebecca have another one yet? No, the, the leveling up the support conversations takes a while. Especially after the first one. This, it gets progressively more and more difficult to do, I believe. Alright, Wrath's got the Brave Axe now, so I hope I'll visit that secret shop next turn. Make sure there's nothing invaluable in there. I'll have Kent come back and run interception in case someone shows up over here. I don't think they will, but you never know. Alright. I think we're good over here. And you would think triangle matchup not great, but Raven is such a monster, it doesn't matter. Easily one of the best units in this whole bloody game, I'm not even kidding. Fun fact, when I started playing this game, I was in high school, and uh, I was really, really just, Raven is so cool, I was really obsessed with this character, to the point where I started making my a lot of my uh, online screen names after him, so 
It didn't, it didn't help either that I played uh, something called Armored Core back in the day for the PlayStation, which is like giant robots. I love giant mech robots fighting each other, so that was just even better. And those things are also called Ravens, all the mercenary ones, and I was like, well, this is just perfect. Some of my favorite fandoms, quote-unquote, based around the idea of Ravens. And I think birds are cool, too. I like birds a lot, especially birds of prey, so... It seemed pretty fitting at the time. However, I realized Raven was more commonly used as a woman's name, and I realized maybe that doesn't quite fit, so... I decided to change to something a little more appropriate. I like angels a lot, too, hence the moniker Seraphim. And I know a lot of you are saying, but it's Seraphim with an M. Yes, I understand that. That's referring to the group of them, at any rate, but that's not quite what I was going for. Here's the secret shop. Uh, we've got elixirs here. Those are nice to have, but I don't think they're worth the 3,000 gold price point. Especially since you get a few free ones. Uh, another physics staff might be in order. Ooh, a barrier staff. I don't believe we get one of those for quite some time. Let me grab that. You can use that to level up uh, healers very quickly. Uh, you know, I will grab another physics staff, I believe. Although I don't think anyone else is going to be capable of using the bloody thing. Nah, we'll hold off on that. I get a couple extra ones later on, so... Alright, and then Wrath, where are you at right now? This guy is going to be an issue. Not all that much of one, apparently. I could just whip a javelin at him, then move him again with Nini and finish him off. Would that work? What's the might on this thing? 13 and 9 is not enough, that's 22. That would not work. Oh, Florina could probably soften him up a little bit. Oh yeah, perfect. Look at that. As long as she doesn't crit. Oh, jeez. I forgot how squishy she is. I think that, I'm pretty sure that puts Florina up to A rank. Oh yeah, we're going to need to heal her very quickly. In fact, I'm going to use the Physics Staff. My new toy to heal her from a distance. So valuable. She also gets a fair bit more experience from using the Physics Staff as opposed to in any other staff. Alright, so we'll have Heath finish this dude off. And then that... Oh, jeez, I didn't turn his animations on. I'm getting really bad at that. I'm really sorry, you guys. Now, who's this? That's my last one. need that. to have... Oh, can we get Urk next to... No, we can't. Not quite. I'm gonna fix that. I know it looks like I'm swarming the front here, and I kind of am a little bit, but I need to take down the boss as soon as that turn 11 hits, because if I want that spear that he's got, first and foremost. Uh, Raven will kill that Pegasus Knight and probably hit level 20. He doesn't have his hero crest, though, but that's alright, I can use it uh, in, during the battle preparations. Oh, please, at the level 20, that'd be fantastic. Oh, so close. You can probably just hit somebody, although it's really hard for Raven to hit somebody and not outright kill them. Because he's so freaking powerful. Florina will do the Lord's work here again. Let Heath get another free kill. Turn 10 and 11. Now that mage is going to come for me, and that's going to hurt, but... Although, no, Florina probably couldn't soften him up either, because she'll just outright murder him. Maybe with the Steel Lance? Is she carrying one of those? She is. I don't think she'll double if she uses that. Look at that. Heath's best friend over here. As long as she hits him. Okay, cool. And she'll get a level out of it, too. It's a neat little deal. Wow. Wow. 
Lorena turning into a beat stick. All right, uh, we're gonna go track down that mage here with Rebecca and Dart and get Kent out of the way so he doesn't accidentally kill him on his own. Who's in need of healing? Ellawood could use some healing, it looks like. Let's get Nini and some more free XP. Whoops, we don't need to use the Physic Staff again, just to heal. I'm probably going to promote Priscilla before level 20, only because getting her to that point is prohibitively difficult. That's a bad idea. Him right here. Uh, let's hope that somebody else. Let's hope that something else spawns for Raven to hit, so we can level up. I'm not gonna hold my breath, but we got one more turn still, so it's possible. Please hit. There's Heath, and he looks really cool in blue there. I gotta say that tealish blue color there. Sadly, he doesn't have his crazy hair and his sprite. Yeah, he might need a speed wings. He's not getting speed level ups like he's supposed to. That's starting to bug me. All right, so this is the last turn. We're gonna finish off the enemy this turn, whether we like it or not. Rebecca deal with Mr. Mage here. Doesn't even need Dart nearby to crit this guy. I love it. I think that puts her at A rank with bows, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, it sure does. Alright, so Raven sadly will not be hitting level 20 this round, but next turn is it next next chapter rather is definitely happening. Alright, uh, I bet you Wolf Bailing this guy is going to outright annihilate him. So let's do it, just for funsies. Hector hasn't got a chance to kill anything in a while. Yeah, you totally are about to lose, unfortunately for you. Oh jeez, and Hector crits. Well. Yeah, if you say so, buddy. Full level for Hector, totally unnecessary. Please get strength, dude. Okay, you've somewhat starting to redeem yourself. He definitely needs more speed, though. He's just as low as Heath is, and he's twice his level. No, Commander Eubens is down! Well, considering I annihilated all your forces, you really didn't have any reason to fight. There's Uther! Uther is a general and is awesome. That wicked scar across the front of his face, man. He's got a couple, actually. He's got one on his forehead and across his nose there. He's control of Black Fang. You mean the Black Fang? Yeah, I guess they missed an article there. be done? Well, unfortunately, yes. And thankfully, they don't bother explaining everything in nauseating detail again. They just give you the truncated version. The montage. Yeah, well, I imagine you one more time to think it over, too, if you realize that something horrible was happening that you had no control over. Yeah, unbelievable is one word for it. got a point. Um, I was actually <laughs> going to get a little bit real talk here, but I was playing through Path of Radiance the other night, and very early on in that game, uh, you're in an occupied country, although you're in like a remote area of said occupied country, 
and the uh, effects of the war and them being conquered hasn't quite reached them yet, and they're just completely oblivious to it, and they just don't care. They're like, we don't really care who's in charge as long as they don't raise taxes or whatever, and it's like, you guys really don't, like, all of this negativity and horrible stuff happening to your country and you don't care because it hasn't affected you personally yet. And there's a real, a real lesson to be learned in that, I believe in that people don't really care about tragedy until it happens to them. And that's very true, I think. And I'm sorry for getting a little too, you know, soapboxy here, but it, it, it just hit me in a really, hit me in a really interesting place. And they're echoing that same sentiment here in that people aren't going to believe or care that dragons are back until they start seeing them themselves. Or Uther, I don't know why he's like half off the screen talking to us, but I thought they could only sense when danger is coming. How come they can tell where Nurgle is? East to Burn, yes, because that's where we're going next is Burn or Bairn. If you're talking about the capital of Switzerland, I suppose. If there's time, make your destination Misser. If you remember, early on, Misser is that peninsula to the southwest of the continent. Yes, yeah, in the wrong direction. The Nevada Desert. You may find aid there. Now, Uther knows what he's talking about, but he doesn't really take the time to explain that to the rest of us. Go and meet the living legend is all he says. And he does not elaborate any further than that. Uh, that being said, living legend is coincidentally the name of the next chapter, chapter 22. So we will explore more about who this living legend could be or anything of such matter. So we'll have to get into that next time, however. For right now, this is where I'm going to leave you all. I appreciate you all very much for sticking around this long, and thank you very much for watching. We will try to learn more about the living legend in the next episode. Until that time, this has been Seraphin. Good evening, everyone.